Okay, I built this zip line in my backyard to test ideas for a restraint line. Uh, pilots at ushawks.org had suggested may prevent our most devastating accident. The uh, first few tests did not go well. Um, as you'll see right now. Oh, it's got to hurt. Oh, yeah. I've done that. It hurts. Nice one. So, then I got this idea. Um, what if I connect the rear restraint lines down low onto the rear flying wires? Um, will that make a difference? Check it out. Right to the rear flying wires through pulleys. Doesn't restrict my takeoff, doesn't restrict my roll control. I can pull in fully stuffed and uh, <clears throat> not even know the line is back there. I set it to go just barely tight in the fully stuffed position. It's about 3 16ths Delron line. Will this alter the, the uh, that forward swing? Will, will the rear wires take the load? Um, take the load off of the main suspension lines? Will it prevent the head from striking the nose of the glider? Uh, pretty excited about this one. Pretty excited. Couldn't wait to get that thing pulled up. I've lost so many friends. And there it is. There it is. Check it out. Main suspension goes loose as the rear lines kick in. Trajectory is altered. The head does not strike the keel. It works. You know, or would we, you know, would you, if you're going to crash in the prone position, would you cr rather crash that way? I had an engineer friend stop by and look at my triangular system, which if you remember right, the line went directly from here over to this pulley on the other side, down through the back of the harness and up. So that's what I did, and uh, we're going to test that now. As you'll see, it's, the test results were just as good as the uh, previous test. Alright, check this out. Three, this is great. Two, one, test. And there it is again. There it is. It worked perfectly. Yep. Now would you rather crash? That way or this way? Yeah, I know, right? That's the way we're doing it now. No restraint line, that's what happens. That's what happens. This engineer that stopped by specializes in safety restraint systems. And he did projections on this line with the speeds that we usually crash at and said, Absolutely. There's no reason this won't work. Okay. Needs to be tested professionally. Uh, we need to start like the seatbelt industry for hang gliding. And uh, this is a good place to start. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yep. There is no elongation of the thimbles. It's good. Yep. And I have tested this with up to 200 pounds in that harness. And the results are the same. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, the same, the same. Those rear cables can also be designed into the fly bar system. Um, the cable will run through the fly bar, out the rear handles, or out some hole along the side of the rear handles, and attached to the cables. So in the suprone position, as the pilot swings forward, first his uh, main suspension will strike the fly bar then he will break through it, and then the cable will engage. And then, as he's the pilot is swinging forward feet first, uh, this, this same dynamic would kick in, where the rear flying wires are now restraining him from swinging forward uh, to, to a point that could do harm to him. The speeds we crash at are survivable speeds. Um, 
about 15 to 35 miles an hour. Is usually, uh, this, uh, those are the usual speeds we crash at. Um, there's no reason that uh, this, uh, uh, some type of uh, safety restraint, uh, such as you just saw, uh, could not be developed. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you think it's, this is a good idea, bad idea. Should I move forward with this, or should I just uh, walk away from it all? Um, appreciate the support. Uh, thanks for watching. Later.